Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word and heeding his voice. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon and welcome to Mass. Uh, welcome if you're participating via the internet. Today we celebrate the Archangels of God, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, and we should offer this Mass for parishes and religious institutions under their patronage. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation to John. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give your angels charge over us, O God. 
Give your angels charge over us, O God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Give your angels charge over us, O God. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Give your angels charge over us, O God. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, Here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Please sit down for a moment. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel are the four named biblical angels depicted as the beloved messengers of God. Michael, which means who is like God, is described as protector of Israel and leader of the armies of God and is perhaps best known for his victory over the dragon, which is told in the Revelation to John. He is thus regarded as the protector of Christians from the devil, particularly those at the hour of death. Gabriel, which means the strength of God, is one who in the Gospel according to St. Luke, is sent by God to Mary to announce the birth of Christ. Raphael, which means the healing of God, is depicted in the book of Tobit as the one who restores sight to Tobit's eyes. Uriel, which means the light of God, appears in a vision to Ezra, in two Esdras. A basilica near Rome was dedicated in the 5th century in honour of Michael on the 30th of September. Beginning with celebrations on the eve of that day and the 29th of September is now kept in honour of Michael throughout the Western Church. Father, as you laid the foundation of creation, the stars of the morning sang for joy, and the sons and daughters of God in chorus chanted your praises. Lord, 
your heavenly servants were sent to men and women to guard and lead them. Keep us faithful to your call today. Lord, hear us. Lord, the angels stand before your throne to praise you. Help us to seek your face today. Lord, you call us to be like angels of light. Keep us pure in heart and body. Lord, hear us. Lord, we thank you for your glorious power. We praise your victory over the powers of darkness. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all ages to come. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So as this day speaks to us, about the victory of God over all that is dark and all that is evil, we hold before him the world in which we live. We pray for peace, justice and reconciliation. We pray for an end to hatred and self-interest. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember those who are in need. Anne, Mike, Julie, Pauline, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Derek, Beryl, Sharon, Evie May, Kate, Ian, Alfie, Yvonne, Ron, Grace, Matthew. Lord, be close to them. Let them know your love and healing power. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear as we pray for the departed, we pray for the repose of the soul of John Simpson, who's died recently, and in years' mind of Father Herbert Kenny. We pray for all departed members of the Society of the Sacred Mission. We pray for those whom we love but see no longer. And let us commend the living and the departed, to the intercession of Mary, the Queen of Heaven, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We offer to God our own personal prayers and intentions for this Mass in a moment of silence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever, by the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself 
and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favourably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honour we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight, redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendour you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, our patron, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the 
Lord of Christ, keep me safe. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you. Body of Christ. Let us pray. Lord of heaven, in this Eucharist you have brought us near to an innumerable company of angels and to the spirits of the saints made perfect. As in this food of our earthly pilgrimage we have shared their fellowship, so may we come to share their joy in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As is ended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.